Like so many ex-NBA players in this summer, Jalil Okafor, the third pick in the 2015 draft, moved to Europe during the offseason. Okafor, who tore his Achilles at the end of 2022 and had to take a nine-month injury break, came to play in the strongest national league over here, the Spanish ACB. While another injury troubled former NBA talent Jabari Parker joined one of Europe's strongest clubs in Barcelona, Okafor signed with Zaragoza, who finished last season 13th out of 18 in Spain and missed the playoffs by five wins. When Okafor was presented to Zaragoza's fans at the start of September, the center said that physically he is at 95% and wants to enjoy himself on the court after a few years of instability. Before going to Spain, Okafor played in China and the NBA G League posting good numbers, but the Achilles injury meant he had to go back to the drawing board. It was clear from the get-go that Okafor is confident in his abilities. The 27-year-old American Nigerian said that he thinks he can be dominant in the ACB and his first two games have offered us plenty of reasons to be optimistic about this season. In the season opener against reigning EuroLeague champions Real Madrid, Okafor posted 13 points and 4 rebounds, playing 16 minutes in a 31-point loss. Three days after, Zaragoza hosted another strong side in Malaga and won by 8. Okafor spent 25 minutes on the court, scored 18 points and grabbed 5 rebounds. Although it's no wonder, it's nice to see that the offensively talented Okafor has adapted well to the high pace of the ACB in terms of scoring the ball. In his two games so far, Okafor has made 66% of his two-point field goals and is one from three beyond the arc. What's also great to hear is that Okafor seems willing to put in the hours to prove himself. Head coach Porfirio Fizak said that he didn't expect to find Okafor to be the type of person who has great desire to work and has a tremendous amount of enthusiasm. Playing and potentially starring in the ACB really is a great chance for Okafor to get his career back on track and return to top-level basketball. It's unclear whether returning to the NBA is Okafor's end goal, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Should Okafor stay healthy and play really good, he surely has a future in the EuroLeague. Spain is probably the best place to showcase his talents as the ACB has for EuroLeague teams and the ACB's strength means that the league is hugely followed by other European clubs as well who try to find great players that are not playing for top teams. Although Okafor's game and his defensive weakness might not be the best fit for modern basketball, the EuroLeague has some centers like Okafor. The former Cleveland Cavalier Ante Zizic is an offensive big man who plays for the Turkish powerhouse Anadolu FS. Donatus Yunus, who played for three NBA clubs, now suits up for the French champion Monaco. But before Okafor sets his sights on the future, he first must secure a place with Zaragoza. The club has three centers in Okafor, Mitchell Watt and Dejan Kravic, but their idea is to keep two of them and have until the end of October to make the final choice. Yet it seems very likely that if Okafor stays healthy, he'll have no problems continuing with Zaragoza as he has so far played well and has been trusted with a decent amount of minutes. Jaleel Okafor, big time slam on Lopez.